When you look at Aliens from James Cameron, it's a classic, a classic sci-fi horror action movie that um, tells its story really well. The acting here is great. Sigourney Weaver, once again, nails it as Ripley. Burke does a good job as being the slimy corporate douche that is you learn just a greedy, cold, heartless bastard that only cares about making money that is responsible for the deaths of many people and is completely remorseless about this fact. And so when he dies, it's super satisfying. And then Newt and Hicks are well done too. And I like the way that, unlike Alien Free, Aliens manages to be a dark R-rated sci-fi horror action movie that is certainly not intended for kids but it also doesn't go too far for one ripley has a well-executed character arc here where she's understandably traumatized by what happened in the first film where she lost everyone and then as we learned was asleep for 57 years so when she wakes up it's a world that she is not familiar with at first, she doesn't want to go back to LV-426 for understandable reasons, because there's aliens there. But then she ends up going back, faces her fears, and by the end of the movie, there's a surrogate family that develops, where Newt is, Newt is the daughter, and Hicks and Ripley are the parents. I like the relationship we see here between... Hicks and Ripley. The movie doesn't get too sentimental in this regard. It's not like a full-blown romance. It's not the kind of thing you'd see in like The Notebook. It doesn't ever get that melodramatic. It's just like, yeah, they work well together. There's a bond there. There's certainly interest there. But it's not cheesy, melodramatic. And then the relationship between Ripley and Newt is very well done. Because as we learn in the director's cut, Ripley lost her own daughter. And then she gains a surrogate daughter in the form of Newt. And I like the part when you get to the end, the fact that Ripley is willing to go into an alien nest to save Newt. The introduction of the queen is really good as well the i think visually the movie holds up very well i don't think the movie looks dated i think the music here is really good the action scenes are well done and i think the way this movie shifts genre from the first film is well executed i think this is a great movie and honestly i don't have any problems with this movie i can't think of anything wrong with it I mean, there's, is there any movie that's free for nitpicks? Eh, maybe not, but in this case, I honestly can't even think of a single nitpick. I think everything here works. The introduction of a new android, Bishop, who we learn is actually good, I think is a nice addition. 